Hey guys, I'm back with one of my other favorite babies that I have. Oh my gosh. So this is my sweet Talia. And she is the Tabor sculpt. Sculpted by, I'm going to totally butcher her name, so I don't even really want to try, but it's Sabian Archicek. Uh, that's so not correct. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. I so, so apologize. But yeah, so this is the Tabor sculpt. I adore her. She was my very first baby from Sheila Rand. And, oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, her hair, everything is so adorable. Yes, I know she would make a sweet little baby boy too, but um, yeah, I love the girls and I think she looks so sweet with bows. So I have an outfit for her. She also kind of reminds me of one of um. One of Shelby's baby over at um Shelby channel. Shelby's channel. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I am so hooked on Shelby's channel. Oh, and I love that she posts like every day. She posts a new video. I wish I could do that. And she always has something to talk about. And she's so spunky and funny. And oh, Shelby, if you're watching, I just adore you. <laughs> I swear, I love it. But, um, yeah, but I think she looks like kind of like um, her sunny baby. Isn't that his name? I'm so sorry if I got his name right, wrong. Oh, no, his name's not sunny. It's, um, Sunil. I'm so sorry. Yeah, her baby Sunil over on her channel. So, yes, so cute. But I love my little sweet Talia. I love her. So I thought I would dress her in this sweet little outfit with this little cardigan that I've not used yet. Um, this little onesie. But I think it looks so sweet on her. I think she looks good in like burnt yellows and oranges and greens and everyone looks good in off-white so let's put this on her she's so tiny I gosh I love this baby so much her dry skin look at this dry skin I hope you guys can see Sheila is so talented so talented and she has a Gracie May that was for sale. I'm sure. I don't know if she's still for sale. But oh, man, I wish I could buy every single baby that she makes. But I just can't do it. I already have so many babies. And some babies that seriously need to go. Um, It's so hard. Selling babies. Well, it is for me. I don't know about everyone. But trying to decide on who should go and then doing all the posting and pictures and I don't know it's it's a lot but um yeah it's very hard for me to do but some really need to go I do have some for sale but they have been for sale for a long time it's hard it's a hard selling game. And um, I sell over on Reborns.com. And like I was saying in my other video, if I left it in, um, about the drama going on over at Reborns.com um, with the owner of the site, Dave, not allowing fake kits to be sold, replicas, whatever you want to call them, um, which is, I thought, was the whole point of that site like when I found that site I thought I hit the jackpot I was finally thinking like oh my god this is awesome no uh like you don't need to be afraid of being scammed or ending up with a fake 
or something like that like that I thought that was the whole point of that site so I don't really understand why so many people are like going crazy about it and being so angry and think it's not fair because that's the whole point of that site was so that you it was only for um real authentic reborns and silicones you know that's what i thought anyway um so i'm kind of happy that he's doing that i mean if you want a fake then go right ahead but i just don't think um they should be sold on that site maybe another site if that's what you plan to do or buy strictly from another person that you know that only collects replicas i don't know but yeah i think that site should be left alone to collectors that only want to collect authentic kits because it's hard to find authentic kits sometimes especially for little um for newbies out there so like and you definitely don't want to spend a fortune on a replica. I don't know about you guys, but I would be pissed. I was very lucky that I've never um, was scammed in this hobby. Like, so many have. And I feel so bad for um, the ones who did want to buy an authentic kit and accidentally somehow was scammed or thought they were getting a baby that it wasn't. Like, that's awful. Like, I remember when I first started, I did so much research because I was so scared of that because I heard horror stories. And I don't have money to just throw around. And I don't know. If I want to spend money, I want it to be authentic. I want it to be an artist's work and made by an actual artist, sculpted, COA, all of that. Like, that's what makes... Your doll special, I think. I mean, I know everyone has their opinions. But I just would not feel right having a replica in my collection. I don't know. Right. To each their own, I guess. Right. We're all allowed to like what we like. That's all I'm saying. I don't hate anyone who doesn't collect authentic kits I'm not saying that at all um i just think that site should be left for authentic kits for newbies that don't want to get scammed and don't want a replica <clears throat> look at these art pieces and i don't know i've never seen a replica look as amazing as an authentic kit i could be wrong but even if they did i still wouldn't want it but that's just me i love my babies i love having the paperwork i love they are a collector's item they are an art piece that's like making a a, a print of like the mona lisa or something and having that And thinking it's like just as good. I don't know. But. Um, what is this? Sticking up. Oh my gosh. I love all of her hair on her head. Oh my god. So cute. Look at her. What she look like in the camera. I never know how I should do her front. Like, the way that Sheila had it and her selling photos was so adorable. And I can never replicate how she did it. I don't know how she did that. Did I pull some down like that, maybe? I don't know. I'll mess with it off camera, I guess. You don't want to sit here and mess about. Because you know that I will be here forever. Doing little stupid things. Okay, so the sock situation. Um, none 
of my booties, of course. Fit this itty bitty baby. But I do have these that are like pretty much the smallest. And they go with this set. You wouldn't think they do, but they do. Because I have a bunch of these onesies that came in a set with the matching bibs. And then I got the booties a while back. Um, so we're going to try that and maybe even throw the little bib on it to tie in the fox. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. How do you guys feel about the Tabor kit? I've seen some that I was like, holy shit. Ooh. <laughs> but then there is some... Has it? Oh, I really I don't know how I feel about the Tapor kit with painted hair. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I have one with rooted hair. But um, yeah, I've seen some that. Ooh, <laughs> it's so crazy that you could have the same kit, but it can come out looking so different depending on which artist does that kit. You know. It's so amazing to me. I love that about this hobby. Everyone could all have the same kit, but all the babies look totally different. Oh my goodness, look at her. And see this. I have three different bibs that go with this set. Like this one that I was thinking of putting on um, Tink the other day. And then I have one that's just all of like this print but this that green print is around the edge of this so i kind of want this little i love this saying on the cardigan and because she's so tiny little cutie i want that to be showing but yes let's just take this on Of course, this bib is going to take over her whole body. <laughs> but it's okay. And yeah, I'm going to hands sticking out a little bit. Oh my goodness, how sweet. How sweet, how sweet, how sweet. I don't know how to position her legs, but I think that is cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love her so much. I could just snuggle her all day. But yeah, that was it, guys. Hopefully I'm getting these videos up and out fast and shortened and to the point <laughs> but oh my gosh look at her oh i swear i love when i doll the babies all up because then i could just sit here and admire them oh i love it love it oh my gosh i wish i had room for like a little bassinet for all of them because just having them pose somewhere cute makes all the difference than them being up on my shelves my shelf full of babies but yeah, oh, maybe I should rotate them, have a baby positioned here every other day to make me happy when I come in here. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, I don't know who I'm changing next. So that will be a surprise. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, maybe to go. But yeah. I'll see you guys then. Bye.